Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Factorio. Um, so I was actually playing some of this off camera. I'm just sort of doing some behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the scenes, um, sort of um, catch up work, I suppose. Um, something that I have done is this is our first line that's been upgraded to blue. The one for the couple of coils. Uh, we were showing them, um, and that has now made it so that we're all caught up with green circuits. Um, I've also just been doing some random, uh, what should I call it in the background? Um, fortune, not fortune, what the hell is it called? Research, research, don't know where I got fortune from. Um, and the actual bit that I started doing and sort of halfway through decided that actually it's going to be best if we... Um, start recording this because I don't want it to be a case of you don't actually get to see the action um what's this what the hell does this have in it absolutely fuck off excellent let's pick that up what does this have in it random wood ra ra random random wood and wit random wood and shit um uh, something that we also need to do that I've discovered while doing this is you actually need uh, more iron, um, another iron area, because our iron area has one on the map over here. Um, we're struggling. Actually, that doesn't have a massive amount left. We might just need to do a massive. Uh, Iron sort of expedition. Is that actually big as I thought they would be? Um, which I'm not too bothered about, but it's just for whatever reason this seems to be going a little slowly. I think it's because it's spread out over a fairly large area. That's quite small, really. Um, or maybe a case of we're just using a crap more iron at this moment in time. Uh, but that is something fairly high on the priorities list. Um, so obviously we want to do that before stuff, stuff starts shutting down. You can see our iron line, where almost immediately as it comes out, it's not full anymore. Um, one of our very small iron areas um, yeah, it's almost out. I mean, there's 25,000 left. Um, got some other little small bits down here, but the trouble is they're near aliens. It's such a small area. Quite a lot of aliens to fight. Our next area is probably going to be this. It's probably going to, like, come down and join this line. Their cars. There's currently a train. So the iron is fairly close, but I, I want to actually proceed with stuff because we seem to be doing quite a large amount of re-going over stuff we've already been doing to like upgrade it or whatever, which I don't know what to bother about. Um, I don't know if you had no sound for the beginning of that or not, but I've seemed to fix fix it now. Um, as I say, just completely random shit. Not doing the ones that take a lot, because at some point... Uh, Alright, so what I was showing you is this yellow stuff. I've, we need four things. I've so far collected in this sort of area prepared down here. Um, the area, the stuff that we need so far, so... 22 and a half stacks of copper, 150 batteries... Because uh, you need 150 of these yellow things to make to research the thing that we need. So now we're working on the processing units and the speed modules. Um, processing unit is what I've been doing up here, and I, I, I will one day make better power armor so that we can have some of those exo leg things. I should run a bit quicker. Our base isn't too massive. It's still a fair size. I actually can't wait for that copper area to go because it's going to be such a big area. We can put stuff in. Um, 
Okay, so what we basically have done is made it because we're very, these are making stack inserters, which we don't seem to really use. Um, so all of these have been combined together and not really getting used. I've just got them f going out the top. I'm going to come over here because what we need to make those blue ones are the two different types of circuits: sulfuric acid, and sulfuric acid is made here. So we just branch that up here. So we'll plop that down there. Cracky, where's a power line when you need it? Okay. So we'll have that come across like that. And we should actually probably go visit somewhere like here. Well, I think I have. Yeah, we'll use this. So if we pop that there, what do we need? Five of those. Well, I should have enough yellow things. Well, if we stand outside. That should. Do I have to make another robo port? Yes, I didn't have enough iron, copper, or plastic for that. Hey, that come in. We just need one more of those. We need iron for that. What a surprise! Well, here's some iron. Thanks, guys. So what's eventually going to happen when we get this all set up is this is not going to have all this stuff going to it. Um, it's just going to be sort of automatically done. Um, I'm going to rejig all of it essentially. Um, T. Um, like that was. So that's going in as it should. Got those coming in as they are. We actually just need the sulfuric. So we don't actually need
Okay. So the sulfuric we can run. Making here is I wonder if we could. That's going to be quite fun. Actually, you know what, I know I only just put them down, but... Okay, so let's see where we're best putting this new robo port. God, it'll eventually finish. Another thing I should get out here is more oil. The reason why is even though we actually have plenty at the moment, I want the drop-off station to be built, like already built and plumbed in. The idea being that when you, oh my god, I suddenly need oil. I've only got to build half of it. OK. 
Okay, and voila. Mom. Oh, really? Okay, so to make 150 yellow, we're going to need 450 processing units, which I can't help but feel is going to take a while. Hmm. Yeah, we need 450, no, you want it to 50. Speed mod is also need green and red, so I think our next job is just going to have to be green and red. The thing is, we haven't got a full line of these. Now, is this... Is this Full capacity? No. Okay. So it's now an iron fault that we have. And I see what is possibly probably causing the iron fault. Let's uh try.
Right. So at this point, um, we'll leave it there and we'll 